Yemen-based Houthi militant group has shared video footage of the attack on a Greek-owned and flagged oil tanker in the Red Sea. The attack on the Saunian, which is carrying 150,000 tons of crude oil, was launched on Wednesday. The 25 crew members of the Greek oil tanker were rescued by a European warship. According to the UK Maritime Trade Operations UKMTO, the tanker was first struck by gunfire from two small boats, which approached at 143 kilometers west of the Yemeni port of Yadida. The ship was later hit by three unidentified projectiles, which sparked a fire and left it without engine power, it added. The Greek shipping ministry stated that the oil tanker traveled from Iraq to Cyprus. It should be noted that Houthis have launched multiple attacks on ships in the Red Sea. The militant group has targeted more than 80 vessels with missiles and drones since the war in Gaza started in October. The group seized one vessel and sank two in the campaign that also killed four sailors. Mykola Malamuz, general of the Ukrainian army and former head of Ukraine's foreign intelligence service, asserts that recent successful strikes by Ukrainian forces on Russian airfields reveal a significant gap in Russia's air defense capabilities. He shared these insights on Espresso TV. Ukraine is shifting its war tactics. For weeks now, our defense forces have been systematically targeting Russian military sites. We're deploying long-range drones capable of carrying various payloads from 40 kilograms to 500 kilograms. These drones can strike significant military targets, aircraft, airfields, control systems and ammunition depots. This will cripple Russia's ability to strike our forces, Malamuz stated. The general emphasized that these strikes on Russian airfields need to be continuous. Our strikes on Russian military airfields must also hamper their strategic aviation operations. These bombers launch attacks on our territory from airfields in the Murmansk region and beyond. Systematic strikes on Russian airfields are crucial as they threaten the destruction of aircraft and fight control systems. For instance, the airfield in the Murmansk region is over 2,000 kilometers away. Notably, the Russians lack robust air defense at these airfields. Only now are they beginning to bolster anti-aircraft defenses around their airfields, he added. Recall on July the 27th, drones from Ukraine's main directorate of intelligence hit a Tu-22M3 strategic bomber at the Olenya airfield in Russia. Ukraine's main directorate of intelligence noted that the Olenya airfield is located 1,800 kilometers from Ukraine's border. Defense Express military expert Ivan Kirichevsky pointed out that this attack on the Olenya airfield set a new distance record for Ukrainian drones. On the night of August the 22nd, drones targeted the Marinovka military airfield in the Volgograd region. Local authorities reported a fire at a Ministry of Defense facility. 
Recently, Ukrainian drones have struck the Marinovka airfield in Russia's Volgograd region, which the enemy is actively using to bomb the front line in Ukraine. Security Service of Ukraine destroyed warehouses with cabs and fuel at the Marinovka airfield. Local Russians complain that after the attack by Ukrainian Special Operations Forces drones, their military airfield looks like a scene from an apocalypse movie.